Good, happy Thursday evening. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. First up, fuel leaks from tractor trailer after crash in Salem. Main Street in Salem was closed Thursday after a crash involving a tractor trailer. The tractor trailer's tank was left leaking fuel after the crash. Crews were working to contain the leak and clean up the spill. One person was taken to an area hospital with minor injuries. Main Street reopened after 2 p.m. Will JFK files answer questions? Probably not at all. Let's take a listen to the video. Can you guess the only real estate brand with agents who are smart specialists? Now you can. Coldwell Banker, the real estate company with real advantages. Antoinette, we are still waiting for those documents to be released. We expected them around 9 this morning. Still, many historians and experts say that they don't believe there are going to be any big surprises once those documents come out. But still, there is a lot of anticipation. Over 50 years after President John F. Kennedy was killed, all the records related to the assassination are expected to be released to the public. Almost 4,000 documents from the CIA and FBI are scheduled to be disclosed. They are just 1% of all the assassination files, but the 1% that's been kept secret for decades. What's not in the in this batch will be more important than what's in it. Patrick Maney is a Boston College professor of political history. He joins the chorus of experts who believe there won't be a so-called smoking gun. I don't think there's going to be any material that will change our the, the conclusion of the Warren Commission that Oswald acted alone. But I do think that there could be material that would uh, embarrass uh, the CIA or the FBI. Potential material about what those agencies might have known about assassin Lee Harvey Oswald prior to that pivotal day in American history. What do you think about all the anticipation and the expectation about releasing these files? It's phenomenal. It really indicates just how how um, not only the assassination, but about how Kennedy, John F. Kennedy himself, after 100 years after his birth, still has a hold on our uh, imagination. Okay, and there you go on that report. And we want to hear from you. Let us know what you think. Do you think there'll be answers or not? Comment below and let us know. We want to hear from you. Gas. Aline Spill sends students home from two Cape Elizabeth schools. Let's take a listen to the video from WNTW News 8, David Charns. The grill is distinctive, but it's usually seen from the rear. The all-new Audi Q5 is here. Tracy, an unknown amount of gasoline has spilled at this Cumberland Farms on Ocean Avenue. You can see the cleanup now underway. The, uh, you see the white booms over there. That's to contain the spill. They've also put down some absorbent pads. Now, the problem, there are two schools really just around the corner on Scott Dyer Road. It's both the uh, middle school and the Pond Cove Elementary School. More than 1,000 students were uh, sent to either the cafeteria or to the gymnasium this morning because they say the smell of gas was just so bad, school officials made the decision to send those kids home just as a precaution. Now, the fire chief is saying that the rain is making the situation harder to clean up, of course, because 
it's wet and it is uh, a lot harder. Uh, the main Department of uh, Environmental Protection, also a private contractor, is on scene here. Uh, they specialize in hazardous materials, and as you can see, they are cleaning up. Uh, no report of any injuries, and still waiting on word as to what caused this spill. I did speak with a mother who was picking up her two kids. Uh, she lives just across the street from the schools, and she said, better safe than sorry. She's glad that the kids were sent home. We're live in Cape Elizabeth, Jim Keith Lee, WMTW News A. Okay, and there you go on that report. And now let's see how your market closed for this Thursday evening and how the markets did today. Your Dow Joe Industrial Average closed in the green and went up. S&P 500 Index closed in the green and went up. NASDAQ closed in the red and went down. RUSS 2K closed in the green and went up. And VIX closed in the green and went up. Stocks closed higher after Twitter in Ford earnings beat the street. Dow jumps 71 points. Twitter Stocks rose 18.5% after the social media company posted earnings per share and revenue that beat Wall Street's expectations. Automaker Ford also reported better than expected quarterly results. Its stocks rose 1.9%. The company also rose its full year guidance. U.S. stocks closed higher on Thursday as the latest sets of earnings reports gave investors a positive surprise. Timeline of Trump's delays on Russia sanctions. Let's take a listen to the video from ABC News. Just a little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Just a little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. There's a little light of mine. We have interviewed every official of the Obama administration to fully understand what they saw, what clarity and transparency they had in the Russian involvement, and more importantly, what they did or did not do and what drove those actions. We have interviewed literally individuals from around the world. So for those of you that choose to stake out when the next witness is coming, there's some that have snuck through because you don't know who they are. I think there is general consensus among members and staff that um, we trust the conclusions of the ICA. We have more work to do uh, as it relates to collusion, but we're developing a clearer picture of uh, what happened. Uh, what I will confirm is that the Russian intelligence service is determined, clever, and I recommend that every campaign and every election official take this very seriously as we move into this November's election and as we move into preparation for the 2018 election. Let me go back and, and say, because I thought I was pretty clear, that the issue of collusion is still open, that we continue to investigate both intelligence and witnesses, and uh, that we're not in a position where we will come to any type of temporary finding on that until we've completed the process. I think there is a large consensus that they hacked into political files, released those files in an effort to influence the election. We think they actively tried to at least test the vulnerabilities of 21 states' electoral systems. And we feel that they used the social media firms both in terms of paid advertising and what I believe is more problematic, but created 
false accounts and others that would drive interest towards stories or groups. And generally those stories or groups were to sow chaos and drive division in our country. And I think that the pattern that they used in America, they have used in other nations around the world. And uh, I, I fear sometimes if you add up all they've spent, that was a decent rate of return for them. Yeah, let, let me add to it if I can. We can certifiably say that no vote totals were affected, that the tallies are accurate, the outcome of the election based upon the count of votes, um, they, they did not in any way, shape, or form that we've been able to find alter that. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report from ABC News. And that does it for the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Thursday night. And I'll see you back here tomorrow with another newscast. And I'll see you back here later on this evening for a news report. Goodbye, everyone.